It's easy to find it. It's everywhere. Anyone can learn to play it, but it's not easy to be heard if you don't fit the mold. We wanted to get to its core, music in its purest form, untainted by the distractions that come with fame. So we bought a bus, quit our jobs, and hit the road. Just drove 11 hours. Right when we got into town, we turned the music off in the car, started listening to see if anyone was playing. And it was very quiet. And then we pulled into this plaza area and we began hearing some music, which is a promising sign. I was driving in my dreams and my vehicle Electromagnetically, they connected me to the mic No matter which way the wind blows The name of the bus is Fanny. Fanny is extremely important to the tour. We redid the interior, we redid the exterior. The one thing we didn't really do too much to was a 20-year-old engine, which is kind of the most important part. It's kind of a struggle. We're running late. If you're going to make an album in two months, there's no time you can waste. Hoping to find some really talented people out on the streets. There are so many people who are singing on records that you hear on major labels. Session background singers, incredible bass players, making a living doing music and you just don't know their names. We'd meet an artist in a particular city and they'd play us a couple songs. We'd take that outline to another city, give them to a drummer, and ask a guitar player, what would you do on this song? And take it to a new city and build on it. Record labels was paying a and r people to go out, travel, find artists. They cut that out. This tour, y'all are going out to open the door so we can walk through and you can see us. The best part about it is that we actually don't know what's going to happen. 